Before I continue this video, I want to talk about and address the worldwide thing that's happening right now in our world, which is COVID-19, or many of you guys know as coronavirus. So many things are happening with the coronavirus, and a lot of YouTubers are addressing it to come aware of it, to be safe. So everyone, please be safe and healthy, and make sure to wash your hands and do whatever you need to do. I know a lot of people are joking about it online, on TikTok and Instagram, and all those memes and stuff, and it's all fun and games, but honestly, this is a very very serious issue and I hope all of you guys stay safe during this time. You guys are probably wondering where the hell I've been for the last two to three months. It's been happening every single year. I've been disappearing on YouTube like I, I'm dead and I rose back from the dead every single year. But um, it's literally, I don't know how to put it into words of why I've been gone every single year. But it's always the same exact reasons, the stress and anxiety. And I think over time, since I'm in high school, it's just been getting worse and worse. And it's very, very, very hard. And I've been trying to have myself be motivated. But I think this year especially, it's been so hard to bring myself up to motivate myself to make YouTube videos anymore. And it's really sad because you, it used to be that YouTube used to be my escape. And now it's just like my like stuck zone where I'm just like, I feel forced to do it. I think, I guess, I don't even know. Before anything, I am going to just, I am not I am quitting not YouTube. Quitting. I am not planning to quit YouTube at all. Many of you do not know, but YouTube is my escape zone from everything that's going on in my life. And I really think YouTube, oh God, there's a truck. Reasons why I'm not quitting YouTube. YouTube is where I feel like I'm at home. Many people have this sort of place or item or memory that makes them feel like they're at home for some people it's like oh the park makes me feel like at home um this theme park makes me feel at home this blanket i had when i was little makes me feel like home youtube makes me feel like i'm at home when i say that in words youtube is a platform with a lot of variety and i've been here for a very long time on youtube and um youtube is a place where i am able to express my real self without having to feel judged in which this platform is very big and a lot of people get judged on it but youtube is a space where i feel like I can be truly myself and not feel forced to be someone else I am. The nostalgia from being on YouTube for so long. So like I said, I've been on the platform for such a long time. I've been on the platform since 2012, which I was in fourth grade. If you do not know, my f first channel on YouTube is actually a channel dedicated to squishies and kawaii and crafting. So um, yeah, then I moved on to beauty and now I moved on to lifestyle and like just all of the above. And I've been on the YouTube platform for such a long time in which I've seen it grown to this cute little TV icon to this red YouTube symbol. And I've been here before YouTube Rewind. I've been here before all of the weird trends online like the ice packet challenge and all these other trends. And I've been on the platform for so long and I honestly... I do not want to leave it because I've seen such the growth and there's so much more growth in this entire century for more things to do on YouTube. Personal growth with my mental health. For a while I've always talked about mental health in which I promised I would make more videos on mental health but it's so hard to make mental health videos at my age. I am 17 years old and it's so hard to talk about mental health on the YouTube platform because you'll be very much judged for half of the things you say in which I'm not certified for any of the things I say about mental health and anxiety and depression because I've been through so many mental health challenges I should be able to pinpoint and talk about certain things about depression and anxiety because I've been through it at a young at such a young age and I just feel like I'll be so judged place I can express my creativity like I said before when I said that YouTube is home to me um, creativity is a big pinpoint into why I am still on this platform because there is a lot of trends you can see and I said before I do not like doing trends on YouTube but the thing is you have to do trends sometimes to get the views and to get the money you know what I mean and a lot of youtubers actually do all the trends even if they don't like it sometimes you have to branch out your creativity in your mindset to see what uh, your viewers would like in which a lot of my viewers like it when I don't talk like this like sit down but most of my videos that have like oh with my friends and vlogging seem to be b doing way much better because i didn't want this video to just be a very blah why am i still staying on youtube another type of video i wanted to talk about some questions that a lot of you guys have been asking me since um 
I don't do Q&A, so um, I might as well answer them now, you see. How's school been? So I am a junior in high school, and I did not really talk much about my junior year, but junior year has been the most stressful thing in my entire life. It's so much stress, it's so much anxiety, and I feel so overwhelmed by so many things, and I really want to take care of my mental health more, and I've been trying to take time to myself, but it's just been very weird, and School is something you should take very serious, especially in high school, and I didn't really talk much about it, but it's very different compared to the other years before, and I feel like junior year is a very important year, and it's talked a lot about, but no one talks about how stressful it is, and it's, I don't mean to scare anyone, but it's just, it's so scary to think that. I'm going to be in college next year and I don't even I don't even know. <laughs> what videos do you enjoy making? So the videos I actually enjoy making are vlogs in which it has my family, my friends, and I really like interacting with other people and not just being by myself. And I think my top top priority of videos I really love making are my travel videos. The videos I made when I went to California and when I went to Hawaii, this was such a long time ago, but those videos are my favorite to edit and film. Filming was a little stressful a little, but I think putting it all together and having myself live through the memories while I'm editing it was such rewarding and I really think once I travel again that I'm going to film it again and it's it's just it makes me feel nice to be able to share my memories of you guys. What videos do you not enjoy making? <laughs> this is such a negative question, but the videos I do not like making are the videos where, um, I don't like making videos that have myself listen to myself over and over talk, which is very annoying. Like, these type of videos are very tedious to make, but I really enjoy making it because I just want you guys to be aware about what I think. But having to listen to myself over and over again is so annoying it really is like imagine listening to yourself over and over and over again it's really annoying that's what being a youtuber is like but <laughs> any news related to your love life i mean there isn't really anything new i don't have a boyfriend but i can say i've had my first kiss already that's a story for another time in my life update on your music i love talking about my music on this platform. If you do not know, 2019 was my year for my music. I released original music, I released covers. I am so proud of the music I did last year compared to any of my videos. I loved making my videos that were related to my music. I really love showcasing what I've been working on. And yes, I've been working on a lot of things right now with my music, but, um, Music's coming soon, do not worry. What's your prediction on the future of your channel? Okay, this question is more related to once I go to college. What I know of now, I am still going to be making YouTube videos once I go to college. Senior year of high school, I have a lot of videos planned for the process of going to college, which I'm really excited about. But college, what I know of, I'm still making YouTube videos. Whether my roommate likes it or not, I'm going to make YouTube videos still. So, yeah, I'm still making YouTube videos, so do not worry. So this is the end of the video, and I would like to apologize for all my viewers for such a long time that they would have to see this apology video every single year, and I'm working on my mental health. I'm really hoping I do not slack once again, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys next time. I don't know when. But I love you guys and bye. It's a little windy right now, but it's 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 okay, I I guess. It's it's okay.